going to be so charming. <laughs> so close. Hello, hello! My name is Zinzer J. I use they, them pronouns, and welcome to They BCs. They BC. Today we're taking on a big one, folks. This week's inquiry is non binary. So, what is non binary? Honestly, it's a great question and one that I'm still figuring out for myself. There's been this huge pressure to be able to explain my identity with perfect clarity and confidence, like I have to have a textbook definition at the ready just to justify my experience. With that said, here's a textbook definition. Non-binary falls under the transgender umbrella, referencing a spectrum of gender identities that are not exclusively masculine or feminine. It refers to a person who identifies with or expresses a gender identity that is neither entirely male nor entirely female. State Senator Sarah McBride wrote about feeling a similar pressure when she came out as a trans woman. People would latch on to any glimmer of hope that I was mistaken. I needed to present a completely even-keeled, thoughtful, and determined certainty. I had to be firm in my resolve. Though I would go one step further and say it's even harder to tell someone who I am when my very identity is meant to emphasize what I'm not. E.J. Scott, the curator at the Museum of Transology, said that they don't really like the term non-binary for that very reason. I use genderqueer instead. I don't like the term non-binary. I find it really problematic that people are starting a description of their gender freedom with the negative. Telling people what you're not leaves a huge margin for interpretation. Just like there's no single way to be a man or a woman, there's no single way to be NB. NB is just the phonetic spelling of NB, which is just the acronym for non-binary. I know, we're the worst. For the sake of this episode, I'm only gonna speak on behalf of my own experience. It's not true for everyone, but it's true for me. I've had a lot of questions centering gender neutrality. My brother asked me the gender neutral term for aunt and uncle. It's pibbling. My boss inquired the gender alternative to Mr. and Miss. It's mix. But personally, I don't have a lot of interest in gender neutrality. There's nothing neutral about me. I for one love gender and I want to use all of it. Amru al Qadi writes, gender segregation is so embedded into our society, we start to believe it's utterly normal. While Walt Whitman famously stated, I contain multitudes. For me, being non-binary is integrating those multitudes. It's why I use they them, because there's a plurality to my existence. It's not about neutralizing my masculinity, but about honoring my femininity. As EJ said, it's gender freedom. I love the idea that I can be a son and a wife, an actress and an uncle. Though my perfect little nephews call me Pookie. I've also heard a lot of sentiments like this. I totally support you. I mean, you didn't choose who you are. You were born that way. And while I know this is well-intentioned, I think it misses the mark. It says, if I could choose differently, I would. Worse, it kind of says, if I could choose differently, I should. There's a temptation to shape a narrative that it's inherent for me to be non-binary. But I want to challenge that we're all born non-binary. We learn gender, and at some point, some of us can't stand it anymore. I am a non-binary person because I made the radical discovery that I do have a choice in the matter, and that my choosing should be just as valid and just as respected as anybody's inherent being. I'll end with one of my favorite quotes from Amru's book. I think being non-binary is a constant question of my gender, my sexuality, and my worldview. So you can't have your shit together as someone who's non-binary because you're constantly questioning and interrogating yourself. I used a lot of references for this episode and all the people quoted and the sources used will be listed in the YouTube description. As always, if there are questions or topics you'd love to have covered, you can email me at theybcs at gmail.com or shoot me a DM on Instagram, anonymous and judgment free. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll join me again. And in the meantime, keep it LGBTQ.